hey, this is Cousins Talk, you know. You know, this is Candace Joseph. And uh, I love my cousins. To the point where I say, you know what? We just gonna get on the mic and do a Cousins Talk. So, you know, I'm Candace Joseph. Please introduce yourself, fine sir. I am Mr. J.R. Brown. I'm Chelsea Stewart. And I'm Chase Health. <laughs> I says this. What happens when four cousins get together and ask each other questions about things that we don't know anything about each other about on some of this stuff. I'm looking at some of these questions like, I don't know how my cousins will answer this. So uh, this is just inspired by 73 Questions by Vogue magazine. So we're just gonna go down the line. The thing about this, yeah, I printed these out. <laughs> I ain't going by them though. <laughs> I want some juicy stuff, okay? <laughs> so I'll let y'all go first. I can go last. What makes you smile? Cause that's a fake smile you got right there. You like, oh, this motherfucker did this shit. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what makes me smile? Um, sometimes seeing other people smile makes me smile. Honestly. I feel that. Yeah. yeah. And money. I, I, money makes me smile. I have to say that. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's so many levels you can say. So is, is it the is it the chase for the money? Is it earning money? Is it the spending of money? The chase. Chase for the money and the acquirement of money. Oh yes. It That's was, it. That's it. The chase of money is very addictive. It is. In the chase of money, you sit up there and put your family aside. You put you, you aside and a whole lot of things behind the chase of money. This is true. And I've done that, and in some areas I've been successful, and others I haven't. And in the same time, I said, well, lights are still on, so that's that. Goddamn, bro. <laughs> Chase, go. That's it. That's it. All right, so Chase, do you like surprises? I love surprises. I do not see that coming at all. Depending on what type of surprise. OK, example. If a surprise with a bag full of gold, yes. If a surprise of an old car, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Oh, Look, when he said a oh, bag full of gold, oh. I thought he was going to say gold teeth. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you got to talk about that one, but then it is money. <clears throat> now I can see that. I, I can see you liking surprises. Me, I'm kind of, I don't know if I like surprises. It depends on the surprise, I think, but I don't know. Sometimes I get weirded out by that. Mine. I think what it is for me because I'm such a giver, I don't know how to take something from someone. If somebody gives me something, I don't know how to handle it. Or if someone give gifts me something, I'm kind of like, okay, I'm not sure if I want to take this. Because it's like I'm used to giving stuff to yeah. people, I'm not used to taking. So then it's kind of like I, feel, I had a guilt yeah. complex, like, okay. But then at the end of the day, I realized I'm worthy of all gifts. So that's that. I, I felt that. COVID, unfortunately, has actually humbled me to that point. To where I, I was always a giver, I was open arms, and now things kind of reverse roles, and it's, it is, it is kind of, it, it is, it's messed up. But at the same time, I, I'm humble and I accept that now. Yeah. Can't always be on top, no matter, hey, no matter what, what industry you're in. Yeah, that's true. I love surprises, any kind of surprise. I, I, I can't say that. Yep. All right. Chase, you ask the next question. Okay. If you were going to be diamonds or pearls, which one would you be? And why? Ooh. See, Chelsea, I already know what I'm going to say. <laughs> I know what you're going to say, too. Uh -huh. Pearls. Oh, pearl lifetime. Best friend. Pearls. Always pearls. Always, always, always. Keep pearls. it classy. Classy. And keep it real. That's it. Because with, with diamonds, and this is the thing, I've had people give me diamonds, and the first thing out my mouth is, where did they come from? <laughs> <laughs> Who did you steal them off of? Nah, like, like, what country did they come from? Are they certified? Because I don't <laughs> want blood diamonds on me at all. No. So most times, People give me diamonds, I'll wear them because they were gifted to me and I love them. But in the back of my mind, sometimes they give me like, okay, these blood diamonds somewhere and I don't know, I don't know. But I love them, but for me, always pearls. 
So, okay. so the diamonds that are in your ear, where they came from? <laughs> oh, shit. <sure. laughs> That's for a gift from my mother. Diamonds okay. are for real. I got some, some ones that were, yeah, I got some, man, I got some, some ones that was gifted to me for my birthday. Mm -hmm. They're very nice. I wear those on special occasions. Mm -hmm. All right, JR. Okay. I've seen you go through so, I mean, so, 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 so many styles of fashion through your lifetime. <laughs> where, oh, where, oh, where, oh, where in your garden? Where did you get any of that at? Because it was some styles that I've seen, I was like, oh, she knows she bumped her head. <laughs> but I know oh, as a kid, if I said it, you'd oh, like, As a kid, yeah, as a dog, I'm like, smacking your ass now. Um, so, oh, that's kind of throw it off, man. Am I at least looking decent but today? As, a, as I've grown up I, I, and you grown up, our styles have came to mingle with the 20th century. <laughs> but what was going on in the 80s and 90s was like, oh, MG. <laughs> <laughs> I me, have- me, uh, me, Gregory, and Chelsea, we sat back and watched it and laughed. Next time I cut in my house with some peanut butter and jelly, I know what I'm gonna give y'all the SSP. <laughs> <laughs> no, we was kids, you can't it hold it to us. That's true. Okay, so my style was just kind of, and a collection of things that I like. And I used to just wear stuff that I like. I didn't care if it matched. I didn't care if the color was off. I didn't care if it was a hand-me-down. I found it in a garage sale, a thrift sale. I didn't care if You're I so found true. it in somebody's attic. I didn't care if I liked it, I wore it, and it's okay. But the crazy thing about it is, all the stuff that I used to wear in the 90s, in the early 2000s, even me having dreads in 1998, yeah. 1999, <laughs> early 2000, people was like, Oh, you just nasty. You don't want what you're, you don't even want to comb your head. That's just gross. It's unprofessional. <laughs> it's everything no is shit. crazy. <laughs> because everything that I used to do back then in the early 2000s, all of a sudden in 2020 is popular. Ain't that some shit. True. That's true. But I just wore what I like. I ain't care for the match. I don't care. I don't care now. Yeah. <laughs> don't care now. Yeah, she always had that bucket mentality. You can well, take it or not. It was more, yes, it you was, can take it or not. It was, it was, you can take it or not, but at the same time, it was more so of, I'm an individual, I'm not a clone, so accept me as an individual, and I'm gonna dress as an individual, I'm gonna act as an individual, you're gonna accept me as an individual, or you're not gonna accept me at all. It mm -hmm. is what it is. Yep. It is what it is. You know, I'll be honest with you, I thought that question was pretty good. Whole nother <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to share? Nope. The whole nother kind of way. Nope. Nope. Oh. Nope. Not at all. So, okay. go ahead, Chelsea. My question is what's the best way that y'all decompress? <laughs> I have multiple ways. I. How rated is this? Um, sorry. Um, I chant. Um, yeah, I chant. Mm -hmm. Outside of chanting. Six. Oh, that is very stressful. Honestly. I like to cover sometimes. Oh, I'm bad. Sorry, mom, daddy, aunts. It's life, okay? I'm 40. Get over it. I like to drive fast and fish. You do like to fish all the time. Mm -hmm. I live in Kima, why not? That's true. I'm hey, right on the water. Good fish it is, hey, it is a beautiful area where I live in. And he ain't brought no fish and put it in my freezer, mm -hmm. but we're gonna talk well, about Well, because no, I, right. unlike so many other people in the world, I actually care about the species of fish in my neighborhood, and I actually care about the conservation of the fish for the kids and the children and the children. You do. The so you fish. catch and release. Catch and release. All right. And I have so many people in my neighborhood, like, they just don't understand that. Like, anything you catch, you can bring to me. No, anything I catch, I'm going to put back. Because I, I really want other people to actually experience to have that joy. That that zen moment, that, that calm. I like that. 
Mm. To me, every time I went fishing, I went to sleep. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I would take a book, mm -hmm. and then nothing would never nibble on the pole. So I kept thinking maybe it was my bait. So then I would ask somebody else to put the bait on the hook for me because mm. apparently it don't like my it don't like my bait. So I was never able to catch. I've never caught anything fishing ever. Nah. So I would put the I would put the bait on the hook, throw it out there, and they would take the bait and my hook. <laughs> what do you do to decompress, Chelsea? Because you haven't answered that question yet. Well, I bake, cook, sex. Um, <laughs> see what else? Walk. I do this. Play with my dog. Okay. All right. That's it. All right. Chase, oh, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> See, he should have done, listen, ain't thinking at all. Like, we're going to ask you next. Okay, what I'll do is be depressed. I like to ride this. I like to oh, no. listen to loud ass music and tune everybody out. Mm. I love this. Okay. I just love, I love hanging with my cousins. You learn so much. We all like the but, speed. But the running of the lights, though. Yeah, that part, that part. You that part, might want to not do that part. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I have to make it. <laughs> <laughs> but I want you to keep making it. You know, you keep making it. But maybe you stop it Shit, occasionally. Right here today, I got my ass handed to me because the light was red and I didn't see it. And I just went like this. Like, I had about five people looking like, damn, he actually came to a stop. Yes, bitch, because that light is red. I can't wow. make it. Damn. And then he called me on the phone and he told me, I was like, is that a guilt complex? You, you stopped it's the toy? It scared the shit out of me. I was like, what happened here? <laughs> it just really scared. I remember just getting over passing the car up and I was just like, oh fuck, the light was green. <laughs> <laughs> them tires and them brakes were screaming. Like that, that. Was that your first? <laughs> no, that ain't gonna be the last. Oh, <laughs> All right, I got one for everybody. What is a skill that you have not been able to master yet? Mm. The skill that I have been working on the last five years that I mastered is the stock market. I've gotten better at it, made some change off of it but I haven't cheated it or had enough financial gain to say, Doc, play with the big boys. Okay, I got that. For me, this one's gonna sound real crazy. Typing. I don't know how to type. So, that's, that's what, what, what you do? do. This hand gets tired. Oh. Now, Tinky, I do Tinky all day. But the keyboard, first of all, I have little hands. So, oh, my- she got my... Trump hands. <gasps> <laughs> I didn't think I said that out loud. You did. I have small hands. So, when the teacher was trying to teach me how to do it, and my fingers wouldn't exactly reach the top row, and they still don't. So, I just, and then, that's like my hands. Yeah, honey, it would make you learn piano. Nope. Ooh, you got blood. She told me my hands were too little. <laughs> <laughs> she told me my hands were too little. What am I supposed to do? My hands are too little, too little. Yeah, I can't reach no keys. <laughs> I'm telling you. Then I was no. short. You know, I just had all kind of things to get. I couldn't reach the pedal at the bottom of the piano. All kinds of things. Rough life. <laughs> Rough life. <laughs> Short finger syndrome. What about you, Chelsea? Short What's finger. the skill that you have been able to master? Man. So, I love to bake, but this whole rolling of stuff, like rolling it out, it just, it takes me so long <laughs> to get it rolled out. But by the time it's rolled out, I'm frustrated. And then I done tore half of it. It could be cinnamon rolls, it could be Bonding. I'm just like, dang, I'm here rolling, my arms hurt, like I'm doing an actual workout. 
I'm still rolling, it's still thick. And I'm like, why are you not flattening out? Put a little water on there. No. <laughs> no. No water. <laughs> so I, you know, I be trying all different techniques, you know, uh, extra powdered sugar. Then I realized that don't work, that's mm. make it more sticky. Then I got some cornstarch. Mm. And I'm just like, okay, yeah, we. And then, no. But that's, I, I still haven't mastered that yet. Well, I can't it's say sad. that. I, I can barely get the croissant roll pour that in a pills. Oh, it can? Yeah, when I tan them all up. Oh, I mean, I can make cornbread. That's make I'll make it. Make it. <laughs> yeah, make it mad, because the croissants be all stretched out and everything. Oh, you have those, you have, so you have those deformed croissants. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that <laughs> have a air wing on the side. <laughs> That little piece that just that end piece that you don't know where it was supposed to go, but it had nowhere to go. But it's just. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, what about you, Chase? Scale the chamber master. My only skill is I like to take a lot of shrimp cuts. Um, when, instead of rolling up, making enchiladas, I like to make a pie. Instead of making real macaroni cheese, I make the box. And the cheese too. A little cheese, little milk, make make it real. But Velveeta is my friend. <laughs> so, so you haven't messed the skill of patience to sit there. I don't have no patience. I like to cook. I like to hear him cook and get him out of there, out the kitchen. Yeah, I like to take my time. I can't do it. So, you know, I like to cook my noodles. I'm gonna take. But my you know time what time burns my noodles. biscuits? I don't know. <laughs> Mine your biscuits. I don't like when food, like you cook one food, then you cook the other food, then you cook the other food. By the time you get all that, then the first thing you cook is cold. I'm on all my food to the time I need to go off on everything at the same time. So, you know, you're in the kitchen and you're cooking for me, you need to figure out how to coordinate that thing to where everything is done by the time that cornbread get ready. They should just have it on low. It's not that hard. It's not time consuming. It don't take that long for cornbread to cook. I know, but some people. But I'm just saying, like, okay, like, example, like, you have your baked chicken, you got your rice, you got your mixed vegetables, you got your whatever, bread. your salad, your bread, and, you know, you got your cornbread. Me, I'm a person. If you cooking a meal, and I feel, honestly, I feel this about everybody, and I don't care who cooking. I feel like this. You should know how long it takes each thing in those pots to cook. So you should be able to coordinate it to where everything is done at the same time and that meal piping hot. I don't understand why I gotta make a plate and put it in the microwave. For what? If you timed it out right, everything would be hot by the time that cornbread get done. I just feel, I, I mean, even, even, even if it's I would nine, never cook for her in just... my life because I cannot cook like Jeff Gordon. Huh? Uh, um, uh, Jeff Gordon, Richard Gordon, huh? Richard Gordon. Gordon Ramsay. Him. Gordon Ramsay. See, look, yeah, it's one of the white kitchen. guys. <laughs> I Jeff can't do Gordon. it. So shit, you gonna give me, hey, your meat is gonna be about two minutes behind on your rice, and it's gonna be another minute and a half behind on your vegetables. It's all gonna come out good. Why? Still be because, hot. Okay, but you got all the burn. You, you got, got foam burn. Wait, no. You got foam burners, and you got an oven, and you got a barbecue. But you pit. gotta understand. So you gotta no ribs taste ninety minutes. So ninety minutes and but you minute. Can't have everything you can. You can when you got kids out there. Your babies don't want hot food. Babies want medium warm, medium cold food. But she, who what? Candace want hot food. Candace want hot food. She. Everybody in my house, you better know. You better time that thing right. I don't care. It ain't no sitting down while you cooking. What are you sitting down for? Oh, I gotta I know, wait I for this. Oh, yeah, he's I making hate that. what? I don't like that. Then some going You burn my cornbread again, okay? You burn. Yeah, I don't like that sitting down while you cooking shit. I can't do that. Man, mm. then my mom burned a lasagna last week and I was just like, <sighs> That shit. Well, you know what? And Honestly, then, and no, but wait. A little crunch on the lasagna mom. ain't bad now. No, but then when I get home, you see the KFC uh, box in the trash can. I said, But wait, you cook lasagna, so why is it KFC box in? I want a KFC! And then when you put <laughs> 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 that special in there, you hear that crunch, you like, oh. <laughs> Hey, she was, it was making good. cake in lasagna though. That's it was good. All I know is, is I put some yeah, pepper on that thing and kept it moving. Yeah. Kept it going. That's all right. Put some heavy cream. Something. I'm serious though. I'm for real about that. I my meat cold. If my meat and my vegetables cold, somebody got problem. Cause I don't cook like that. I don't cook like that. <laughs> if I if I cook for somebody, I'm timing that thing out so that way when they sit down and eat everything. Is 
She's like on Applebee's and chilies and sometimes like that. Now, now she don't know when she wants Applebee chilies all that. She would want them in the microwave while she should have been having her drink and <laughs> shit. She thought all that shit was. It broke my heart when I saw it for the first time because I was at the bar getting drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it was my daughter's first job. I'm looking. I said, "My shit is shit." Like I said, dude, take the shit out of the bag, put it in the microwave. I said, oh, hell no, nah, I just paid $16 for this. <laughs> <laughs> and then I saw her put the bag one up, and then I saw you some else eat one. I said, I don't hear no damn sizzling or nothing. I'm like, what the? That's what kill me when people get steak and chilies. I feel like, why? I go to Applebee's for the drinks. Not I go steak. for the drinks and the loaded take of tots. That's it. That's when it. they got that reverse happy hour, I used to be up in there from 9 to 2 a.m. I just want to drink. I don't drink steak. anymore, right? So I don't drink anymore. So it's kind of like, I don't even, if I go to Chili's, it's like, I'm getting the chicken crispers, because they ain't never messed <laughs> up. I'm getting the mashed potatoes with the fry, cheese. Something that they got to fry, that you know they got to cook. Yeah, I learned my list on it. The pasta. Mm. Mm -mm. Then people talk about, Kid, you didn't get a salad. You want me to get a salad and chilies? <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me, right? That's like TJ Fridays. I be trying to figure out why do people go there? Like, like, no my Candace Jones was not getting paid to endorse any of these people. At but all. If you send me a gift card, I will give it to somebody so they can come to your establishment. And I ain't coming. Period. Okay. Uh, next question. <laughs> if you could retire the next ten years, where would you go? I am gonna retire in ten years. Hell, on fearful. She gotta put you in what fifty? One. Fifty-one. I wasn't gonna put it like that. I just wanna say about. I ain't wanna tell me age. Hey, you I'm sixty-two. Cool with that. You're sixty-two. And, so, and, what, what, what in ten you years, doing? I'll be fifty-one. And you gonna retire somewhere like? Probably fifty-two. I'm. Re I'll be ready for retirement. Oh, sure. But where you gonna go? I think in New England. Clam chowder. Ooh. Nah, I'm Maine not a Boston. Lobsters. I'm not a Boston kind of person. Now Maine, I'm be honest with you, player. I don't like winter. <laughs> I love winter. I hate winter. And this is the craziest part. I would love to live like in Switzerland or one of them kind of places. I don't like winter, so I'll be trying to figure it out. Like, how close to the equator do I want to go? <laughs> All right. What about y'all? Retirement. If I was gonna retire, I would have to say Montana. I like Montana. I like Montana. Because the beautiful trees, the wildlife spaces. I like Wyoming. Wyoming is nice too. Wyoming. Mm -hmm. I go there. <laughs> it's nice. It is. What about you, Justin? Huh? I'd be on somebody's beach, but naked, with a drink in my hand. So I gotta go close to the equator. <laughs> Sorry. You. Sorry, you guys. Just saying, ain't that wrong? Buy I'm retired. You know, I'm living yeah. my best life. What about you? Yes, you a question. I, I legit, I'm torn between two two countries. Um, I kind of want to retire in Japan, and I kind of want to retire in Colorado. Colorado is more on the end of days type shit. In case of shit when it just go bad, nigga need to be above sea level. True statement. But. Japan really is one of those countries where they didn't look at the black man as he's an inferior race. Black man in, J in Japan is a equal. This is more of a what do you have to offer, not what can we offer you. So, with my business intelligence and how I how I move, that would be a decent country for me to retire in, and possibly do a side business while I'm there. Hmm. All right. That's nice. So, any parting words for us cousins? Any parting words? Do we want to say anything to each other? I just want to tell y'all, I love y'all. I love you, man. Well, I ain't buying y'all shit for Christmas. Christmas is canceled. It's canceled. Let you know. It's COVID. It's COVID. Zoom, I, I, zoom. I told my zoom. kids that shit. They looked at me like I was crazy. They <laughs> like, what you mean? 
It's like I just saw Santa Claus on TV. I was like, that's no, that's, that's 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 not the same thing, baby. Santa Claus he ain't coming COVID around. And it's like, but I just saw him though. He like, not coming here, baby. <laughs> Those are actors. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm wrong for that. <laughs> But just know, I love y'all. I love you too. Love I too. love all y'all. And I am appreciative of being able to be here at this point in time in my life to actually sit up there and meet and have a grown ass conversation. Yeah. I know. We should do this more often. Yeah. Goddamn right. Tuesdays and Wednesdays, be well, Shark will be in the building. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey. That's my call, sir. Say it again. Beware of Shark. I'm just kidding, it's Joseph Gibbs. Yeah. He said he gonna be here Tuesday and Wednesday, so That's I'm game said. for it. What's up, Chelsea? I'm game. And we gonna put Chase in on Zoom. Well, he gonna be here next week. I'm game. I'll be uh, here Tuesday. 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 On, on Tuesday. Um, Oh, that, that, that's, that's what people just say when they get rid of them, sign off. <laughs> now that shit. means she finna lie about something. I can't come on Tuesdays. <laughs> I'm like, so I can't come she, on Tuesdays. When she like, like she finna clear up, uh, <clears throat> I got Bible study on Tuesday, so Ooh. I can come after Bible study. Mm -hmm. And talk shit on camera. Perfect. Mm. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> uh, Wednesdays. I can't, I can't, I can't break I can't even do it. No, I'm a Buddhist. I'm sorry. I'm a Buddhist, so it is what it is. I have to say this, though. I, I do appreciate this. And you got to do this more often, man. You got to obviously put me here. You might as well just have some fun with it sometime. True. You know, we should do a video for you, JR, on the catch and release and how important it is. Oh, fucking right. Send it to Bass Pro Shop. Oh, fucking no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're going to get some more black owned bait shops out there, so. Shit, fuck that. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. Um, what is what is this whole Black Lives Matter shit going on? Hey, black business matter too, shit. Mm -hmm. This is true. Money is green. And the sky is blue. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> the ground is solid. Alright, we out. So do I get my check at the front door? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to um, change. I apologize to what's it going to be dated for? Videos. Nobody was paid. This is free royalty stock. Candy Jones. I can use it any way I want to.